We're at a uh, beautiful construction defect uh, project, and uh, I'm just going to walk you around a little bit and show you what we're dealing with. Uh, we have a product here that was built by a production home builder, and uh, we had some issues with the stucco. Stucco started falling off the walls. Uh, after further investigation, we found out that the stucco in most of the places was about 5 16 of an inch thick. Uh, conventional stucco is 7 eighths of an inch thick. So we had some water issues and started finding out once we ripped it off, we're going to put up hardy board and we wanted to do a visual inspection of the wood, obviously the windows and make sure that we're not going to have a bunch of water issues. Well, obviously we've ran into water issues because stucco doesn't just fall off the walls. Um, unfortunately, we found that we have some beautiful construction defect. Um, but we also have a little bit of termite. We also have uh, basically anything you can run into with uh, uh, water issues. So this house was stucco and once we tore it off, uh, we start pushing around and seeing that we have some soft spots. You can kind of see how that's pushing in, which means now the framing has started to rot away. Uh, the wall sheathing is rotted away. Uh, you should never be able to take a knife and just stick it into a wall like that. Uh, that's kind of, you know, I guess rot 101 right there if it's that brittle. So what's gonna happen now is unfortunately, there's about 12, 13 windows in this house. We're gonna to have to take off the house wrap, which is already in the plan. We're gonna take off the peel and seal um, around the windows and pop the windows out, uh, inspect all the OSB for rot, and then uh, we'll put the OSB back, have it inspected by the county, uh, install the window or replace the window. Uh, then we'll go back with a hardy board siding and then we will uh, uh, flash it properly so they don't have this issue again. But I'll show you a couple things just walking around. What happened here was, of course, we don't really know what happened because we didn't actually see it going on. This is, you know, much later in the game. But it looked like they furred their band out with OSB, which is wafer board, which is what's on the walls, and that's a great product for shear. Not exactly a great product to resist weather, though, and it swells when it gets wet. So they put their foam on top of that, but the it wasn't sealed and it wasn't... Uh, thick enough so the OSB that was holding up the band actually rotted away and when that wicks especially an OSB wafer board product it actually wicks back to the framing the other issue was you can come back here Chris if you want to zoom in on some of these here you can walk with me uh, you can see we got a nice beautiful rusted out screw right here that I can just pull out of the uh, framing uh, shouldn't be able to do that but if you come around you can see that there's water that's gotten to all these flashing points and it's really bad right in here and on some of the other windows you can see the rot through the panel mate for the storm protection well what happened was water got into the path of least resistance and it's gotten through the panel mate which went in through the hole that holds up the storm protection and got to the framing and that's really probably what caused the majority of the rot was the fact that the uh, banding wasn't done properly and then they didn't put any silicone. Something just as simple as putting some silicone on a panel mate to hold up your storm protection that's required by code. So let's walk around here see a couple other things that have happened. Obviously the stucco started to crack and now we worked into a rot situation in the framing. I can just pull that away. And this is nothing more guys than just really bad management. Um, your, your subcontractors need to be able to know how to do their job, but not only that, the superintendent needs to walk around here and say, hey, you're not putting that on thick. A house should never be stuccoed in one week. If you have a house that's being stuccoed in one week that's uh, this size, you've obviously got a big problem, especially if it's two stories high. Um, we'll also notice here that the stucco is going below grade. Stucco cannot go below grade. Stucco needs to come down, stay up off the ground, have a drip screed. That way if water ever gets behind, it hits the surface, comes down, wicks out the bottom, and then goes to the ground. Obviously here, if water gets behind, drips through the windows, the panel mates, wherever, it's going to go straight to the ground. Well, it has nowhere to go. And we all know concrete is porous, and stucco is a cementitious product. It's going to wick right back up, go right into the framing, and uh, rock that away. So we're almost done here. Same issues all the way around. If you follow me over here to this column, again, stucco holds moisture. So here's what you get when stucco falls off the wall, wall and water gets there and then you have these lovely little critters called termites who like to be attracted to moisture. Um, this is a big construction defect because not only is it we guess it's resting on a foot or I can't find the concrete down. I haven't dug down far enough yet. 
but we have the framing that's rotted away. We have all this fur out that's rotted away. Um, this isn't structural here. The only structural part is right here. Um, but it's sitting on, it's gotta be sitting on a footing or it's sitting on something. We just haven't gotten that far. But it goes all the way up. And Chris, if you'll follow me over here, and let's get a picture of this. Show the crowd here. If you can see all the way at the top, that roof is resting on it. And the furred out box isn't the end of the world. Um, but that post that I showed you that's in that back far right corner is holding up the corner of the roof and I don't know how that's coming through on the video if you stand in the corner here you might get a little better but you can see that those beams are now rotted away and now that those beams are completely rotted away we're gonna go and get some temporary bracing some structural scaffolding and some posts and we're going to support this roof because really no telling what's holding up that roof right now um, it's obviously standing, so it's not dire straits, but we want to be precautious and uh, it's a little concerning that the structural components of that beam are virtually rotted all the way through. So, we were on a siding job. Um, uh, the insurance company forked out some money, the uh, other, other builder forked out some money, and now we've got an issue where we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do because we don't have a siding job. We have a structural framing job. So. Anyway, if you have a construction defect, you have an insurance claim, or you just have a renovation or a new home you want to build, Give us a shout at addisonriley.com or 776-5009. Also subscribe to our YouTube page. We'll give you more videos like this for all your tips and tricks. Thanks, guys.